Hey guys, it's Mr. Bison here, and I wanted to give you some last minute advice for your upcoming A-level exams. Now, my first thing is pretty obvious. I want you to be working so hard right now. You've only got a few weeks of exams left. You're probably feeling really tired and really exhausted. But once you get to the summer, if you know that you've worked your hardest and you've done your very, very best, it means you will just have the best summer of your life so far. And you'll really just be able to know that the grades you get in, in results day are the grades you deserve, and more importantly, the grades that you need. So the second thing I wanted to say is exam conditions for every single question that you're doing. I want to make sure that from now, everything you do is in timed conditions. You're really trying to emulate what it's like to be in the exam hall before you actually get there. And I know you didn't do the most kind of like official kinds of exams in year 11 as well. So that is extra important. Whatever you do, don't switch your strategy on the day. Sometimes people are like, oh, I'm going to start working from the back and go to the front. Whatever you've been doing up until this point, just stick with it. You don't want to kind of mess with that at this sort of last minute stage either. If you do come across a horrible question in the exam, which is pretty likely, there's always some kind of question that gets everybody in a bit of a panic. I want you to rest assured that everybody across the country is going to have that same familiar feeling. And what I want you to do then is think, OK, everyone's stressed out by this. Let's calm myself down and think, how does this connect to other things that I've already learned about in maths before? How does it fit to one of these other chapters? And then even if you get a few marks from it, that is so much better than it's sending you down a bit of a panic and not knowing what to do next. So most of the exams, I think, are either 15 or 16 questions. Last year there was 16. Now you might think that you've got to questions one to eight in the first hour and you're in a good position, but actually that's not quite right because questions one to eight isn't the first 50 marks. By the first hour, I would really want you to be about question 12 or question 13 if possible, a lot deeper into the paper so that you've got more time for those challenging questions at the end. And in the very best scenario, you've got some time to go back to any parts of the questions that maybe you'd missed. Um, I want there to be every single part of every question. Well, not every part of every question. I want you to have tried something from every question. There are going to be some achievable marks, even in the last questions in the paper, whether it's like a part A that is just about doing partial fractions. So you're really trying to get play it like a game and get as many of those marks as you can from this. If there are any parts of the questions that feel like they're just a drain on your time, just skip them. It's not worth the marks trying to get those two marks from that part where you could be spending time on a five mark question and getting way more marks at that particular point. Remember, I don't think the grade boundaries are going to be that high. I don't want to comment about grade boundaries until I've seen the first paper. So do look out for my first um, reaction video, which will be after the first paper is sat on Tuesday. Um, what else was I going to say? That so far we've had an AS paper for further maths and we've had an A2 paper for further maths and they were pretty different in terms of challenge level. The AS paper was pretty easy and the A2 paper I thought was pretty tough, particularly the second half. So we don't necessarily have much of an idea of what examiners are kind of trying to play as their strategy of what they're going to be offering you guys. So I guess the last thing I want to say is just thank you so much for supporting everything with my channel and for coming along to some of the revision sessions that many of you have been attending. I'm very, very grateful for that. And just wishing you the best of luck. Work really hard because when you do that, you will get to the summer and just be able to have the best time knowing that you've put in your absolute hardest work. So I will see you after paper one. Good luck, guys.